Hola, buenas a todos, soy R. Draco y juguemos a The Walking Dead episodio 5, no hay tiempo, vamos por el capítulo 3, guardaros que lo dejamos por aquí, y que voy a tomar la decisión de cruzar yo primero. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. Bueno, como dije, yo iré primero. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Ayer se veía un poquito mal porque empezó con lagazos. Algunos lo habréis notado. Porque el PC, mientras estaba grabando esto, me empezó a hacer un... En segundo plano, algo que yo no me esperaba. Y entonces da lagazos de vez en cuando. Y como no quería repetirlo... Just go nice and slow. Para que no quedara fingido, pues... Mejor lo dejé como estaba. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Uy, uy, ahí empieza a tocar mucho el asunto. Shit! Oh, fuck! Ya me cruce para vosotros, macho. Joder. Que bien empezamos. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Es de coña, ¿no? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy. There's no other way. Pero qué pasa? No puedes seguir hacia donde iba cruzando o qué? Sí, no. Ahora. No se, no se ha tirado abajo, no se ha visto cómo lo ha hecho. Pero no me hace mucha gracia lo que estás haciendo, eh, amigo. Bueno, ya vamos. Zombie, tío. señora que estaba loca, ¿os acordáis? Pero esa la, la matamos. ¿Quién más falta de esa temporada que dejáramos atrás? ¡Ostras! Los de la granja no serán. No, se murieron todos. Ya estoy empezando a flipar. A ver, vamos a avanzar por aquí. No sé, no sé, no acabo de atar los cabos ahora mismo. Pero una voz de un hombre en la temporada del coche... Yo 
Yo creo que escucha algunos pasos, pero no estoy seguro. Una cuerda que ata cada puerta. Un segundo, amigo, déjame ver antes que hay por aquí. ¿Quién es este? I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? No me ha dejado de decirlo, soy Lee. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. No sé quién es, pero claramente es la silueta que nos observaba a través de... Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Del que nos veía a través de la de la verja. Good. Go sit down. No será who I am. No, no sé quién es. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? Debe ser el hijo. A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened. You have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. No sé si es el... el have you ever... El marido o, o el hijo de la loca. You care about... Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. 
I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. It's you abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. No sé de qué me está hablando ahora mismo. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? Por la radio, lo contaba ella. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... No estar hablando con una cabeza, está loca. I'm glad to. Oh, loco. Hostia, ¿cómo ha deshecho eso? I wish you wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, my God. Vamos. Oh. Vas a resistir ahora. Coño, es la primera con que se me resiste. Joder. No. Son of a bitch. Just go away. Die. Hostia. Smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. 
It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Es posible que el tío estuviera hablando con una cabeza viva, eh. que no creo la cabeza es que está claro digo yo que habrá una cabeza ahí hostia y viva aparte la historia de este tío no la verdad que no es muy buena pero no I know nos vamos de aquí Clemen Intentaré ver qué pasa en el episodio 3. Hostia. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? ¿Qué cojones? El olor. Vale. Solo ve a la niña. Joder. Vas a tener que cubrirte tú también. Vas a tener que cubrirte tú también. Vas a tener que cubrirte tú también. Pues intentaré ver qué pasa en el episodio 3 si no cogemos las cosas y luego retomarlo hasta aquí, aunque seguramente me costará bastante, pero bueno. Venga, carnicería. No mires, niña. chavala va a vomitarlo primero atrás, pero bueno, la tormenta, la lluvia, que raro, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a intentar... Quería ya, yo creo, cortar por aquí, pero vamos a intentar alargar un poquito, por lo menos hasta que empiece a llover, porque va a pasar seguro. su tensión alguien conocido 
los, los padres. Ostras, tío. Es la madre. Ha rescatado. Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please no. Lee. Esto cada vez es más peligro I'm para la so niña. Scared. I I I thought you left me. I I I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. Tiene los ojos cambiados ya. Esto va a dar para un capítulo más Lo vamos a ir dejando aquí, ¿vale? Y sí que se está poniendo ya demasiado feo esto Pero bueno, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo Y nos vemos el siguiente, que será mañana Así que no tardaré mucho Nos vemos